Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to beautiful Blue Island, Illinois. How are you doing? Yay! All right, very good. My dear friends, thank you so very, very much for coming. It's so nice to see you, um, and I, I really do appreciate you lending us your children for the last 18 days. Just a couple things here that I just want uh, to introduce to all of you. Um, what you're about to see is the result of our hard work over the last, like I said, 18 rehearsals. At the start of band camp, uh, about mid-July, our students received, some of, some of our students received music for the very first time. All of them received their drill, which is the shapes that they make on the field for the very first time. Most of these students have never marched in Cardinal Regiment before. This is actually the most inexperienced Cardinal Regiment in the history of our program, which is now nine years long, it's the most inexperienced coming in than our very first year, okay? So, um, you know, we didn't exactly know what to expect. However, we were so pleasantly surprised. And to say that we are proud of all of these students for what they've accomplished is a gross understatement. Um, because, besides being among the most inexperienced Cardinal Regiment group at the start of marching band, this has actually been probably the Cardinal Regiment that has shown the most improvement from the start of band camp to right now in program history. So if we could give them a round of applause, they worked so, so hard. This is 18 days worth of learning, okay? So uh, like I said, there was not many people who knew what to do starting on day one, and then here we are 18 days later, and now you'll get a chance to see the entire field show. Uh, a couple things, we will have actual uniforms. Uh, we're not gonna be marching in these t-shirts, although they're very comfortable. Thank you, Marathon Sportswear. Um, we also have some nice field props. You see orange cones, those are just placeholders, okay? It's not an artistic vision, it's literally what Home Depot had. Um, so we've got those. You'll also see some, uh, some cool costume changes and things of that sort, so there's a lot still to look forward to in the competitive season with this group. If you like what you see, parents, and you want to volunteer and help us out, we will always need help with what we're doing here. Setting up props, transporting equipment, helping feed the kids, water the kids, those types of things. So if you're interested, this is not going to be the only time you're going to hear me talk about this, um, but if you're interested, please let me know and we'll get you involved. Plus, it's a great way to make new friends and you get a chance to see who your kids hang out with. So that's pretty cool. Um, I want to just uh, say before we begin, I want to thank a few very, very special people. In no particular order, it's my marching band staff. Um, I am only um, a fraction of, of what they're able to contribute. It's amazing seeing so many old and familiar faces coming back to help with the program. Um, and they make my life way easier. I could not do any of this without them. They're the real MVPs. So in no particular order, our guard instructor and choreography, Miss Tatiana Maravillas. <laughs> our recent high school graduate guard instructor, Mr. Zachary Trubit. <laughs> our former student teacher from 2021, Mr. Andy Garcia. <laughs> Helping with the woodwind. Our former student teacher from 2017, Miss Morgan Kupek, helping with the audio. Our brass instructor, Mr. Asa Valenciano. Our brass and visual instructor, Mr. Marco Martinez. Our freshman liaison and woodwind instructor, Miss Liliana Campos. He's not present today, but our junior high feeder from District 130, band director Mr. Emmett O'Brien. We'll give him a round of applause. Our percussion instructor, virtuoso, Mr. Jalen Davis. The one, the only, a true inspirational band director for all of us, and somebody I learned a ton from, Mr. Kirk Hickman. And last but certainly not least, my right-hand man, Class of 2012, Mr. Felix Ponce as the assistant. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to stop talking. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Our competitive field show is primal. It's a show that is to depict 
two warring tribes that are defined by their differences that ultimately realize they're better off with each other than against each other. So, without any further ado,